If you need to use more than one PC at a time, maybe you're a streamer with a dedicated streaming PC, an avid gamer or someone running different servers, there are two main ways to control your devices, either having a separate mouse, keyboard and monitor for each system, or by using a KVM. A KVM allows you to seamlessly switch between each system, saving you money, not to mention also desk space from not needing multiple sets of peripherals. In this video we're going to be looking at a KVM from T-Smart, and a big thank you for them for sponsoring this video. This particular KVM we're looking at today allows you to connect four systems and display out to two monitors via DisplayPort, but don't worry if this isn't the right one for you, T-Smart have a very wide range of KVMs for all different kinds of users. From DisplayPort and HDMI KVMs that support two systems to one monitor, all the way up to rack mountable KVMs that support a whopping 16 outputs. Today I have the PKSO402A20-USBK to show you all, which will also be linked in the video description just in case you feel it matches your needs. Let's get into the box, the first thing we'll find is the KVM itself, with soft padding on each side to protect it in the shipping. Underneath the KVM we'll find two boxes, containing these we have a whole host of accessories, starting with the power adapter, infrared remote and IR cable, allowing easy control with the KVM if you're not close to it, or if you have it mounted to a rack for example. And then following those we have all of the accessory cables required to connect the maximum amount of supported devices, in this case 8 DisplayPort cables, as each connection could take 2 DisplayPort inputs. There are also four USB Type A to USB Type B cables to allow control of each system. Some rack is if you choose to mount the KVM into a rack. Then last but not least, a user manual. Looking around the KVM, as I mentioned, this has four DisplayPort inputs which can go out to two monitors, but all of these ports support up to 4K 3840x2160 at 60Hz. This gives you lots of resolution and flexibility, especially if you rely on a high quality output for something like live streaming. To the left of the inputs we have the other main area of the KVM where you'll find the power, IR extension port and two USB 3 type A ports. If you'd like to use certain devices for each system, for example USB storage, here are the inputs you need. And finally we have the two ports for your keyboard and mouse and your two main monitor outputs. Going around to the front there's a couple of extra features that you might not expect to see on a KVM, but this certainly isn't your bog standard model. Here you can connect a 3.5mm audio jack allowing you to play sound that's output from each system through headphones or speakers, saving the need to swap connections to different systems each time. Then finally it has a USB Type-A and Type-C port for connecting other devices, or you can simply use it to charge something. So let's get this all connected up and I'll give you an example of what it can do. For this demo I'm using a couple of PC builds that I've done recently on the channel, but this could be easily a GPU and a CPU test bench for example, a similar setup that Extreme Overclockers might find a KVM to be useful for. So first of all, just going through the different settings, so if you were to press 1, 2, 4, that will go to that channel and display on both screens. Of course, this will be the case for all of the four inputs, but I'm just using two systems for this demonstration. You can also be more specific on what you see on each screen by picking A or B, then 1 to 4 after. For example, if I want to show the right-hand system but on the left-hand monitor, I'll press A for the screen on the left, and then pressing number 2 will put that selected input onto the selected screen. Now I'm using extended displays for both of my systems, but if you want to make life a little bit easier, you can just set your window settings to just mirror that image. Now this might make life a little bit easier depending on what you're doing, but I think it's all down to personal preference. Switching over which system the keyboard and mouse works on is really easy as well, just a simple press of the button under number three. Now if you're wondering, all of the controls that I've just done on the front of the KVM can also be done with the remote. So if you press 1 to 4 it will go to both screens on both of those inputs. If you simply choose 1 to 4 then you'll get that selected input out to both your screens. And you can be a little bit more precise by pressing M and then 1 to 4. Works in a very similar way so you'll have that specific monitor display a certain input. Then you can do the same on the second display by doing P and then 1 to 4. And that will select that certain input then display it onto your second screen. It works in the same way as controlling it on the front of the KVM but just with the remote. Which can be a lot easier for some people especially if it's mounted in a server rack. There's also a little button on the bottom right hand side which is the scan button. Pressing this will enable the KVM to go through all of the different outputs till it finds something to display onto your screens. Then you can just press the button again to disable it. One thing I would recommend you do if you're starting out using KVMs is set your main monitor on your left system to be the left monitor and the main monitor on the right system to be the right monitor. If you need to open a lot of windows, maybe using one system for a live streaming PC, knowing where the main screen is going to be for a certain system could be really helpful. There's also a menu built into the KVM if you want to go in and dial in a few settings, for example the screen brightness. You've got options for certain hotkeys, enabling beeps and things like that. You also have USB lock as well, so no matter which device you're switching to, the USB devices will stay the same. This could be useful if doing a backup from a certain device for example, or if you just need to switch to a system to look at it, but don't need to actually control it. If you regularly use more than one PC or system, then the KVM is a great way to control them easily and without fuss. I'll include links to this model and also the website in the video description if you want to learn more or pick up a KVM. T-Smart offer a 30-day money-back guarantee with free shipping to the US and Germany. You can also register a free membership to add an additional two years warranty onto your product. Thank you all for watching. If you have any more questions, then please leave them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. 
Thank you to T-Smart for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.